Hi, I'm Dar with Helia, and today we're going to have a look at the Ubiquiti Rocket M5 and an omnidirectional antenna. Uh, so both of these products are, are separate, designed to work together. Uh, this is the Rocket M5. This is uh, the amplifier, uh, and then there's the antenna uh, component. So you notice here that we've got uh, on the uh, top, there's a chain 0 and a chain 1. Uh, we're going to connect both those up. There's also protective... Um, caps on here so we'll take those off if we have a look at the rocket uh, on the underside you'll see here I've got this partially off already just to make it a little bit easier for the video I'm going to take that off and that there's a door underneath there's a reset button uh, let's see if we can right there where you can reset the software and then there's also a jack that's uh, labeled LAN on here now that LAN is designed to go into a PoE injector this is the PoE injector that comes with the Rocket uh, 5M and one side has a uh, connector for the power and the power plug uh, does come with the uh, Rocket 5M and on the other side there's two jacks here one is labeled LAN and the other one's PoE so the one that's labeled LAN is what goes to your switch or router or other networking equipment. And then from PoE, that's going to uh, connect up to the Rocket 5M LAN connector. So from LAN to PoE. Now, one of the things that you really want to be careful of, you want to use the right type of cable. Now, we always recommend... Uh, ubiquity tough cable and there's other uh, cheaper cable and it's not just because it's ubiquity cable but it's because the ubiquity cable has a separate ground connector in it uh, conductor and that's designed to drain away extra energy from the sky so that your network equipment is not going to get damaged during a storm and so the um, the outside of the jack here uh, is actually designed to uh, ground away any extra energy and this one here too on the PO injector also the outside uh, of this is designed to ground away and it grounds it out of the ground jack here so through your elect uh, 120 standard uh, electrical in a house or building or co commercial that one prong is designed to connect to the earth ground and so using the ubiquity cable and the proper connectors here any extra energy drains right out without da without uh, uh, damaging your equipment like it normally would so ubiquity tough cable is, is really really important here now uh, this is the antenna this is the omni uh, directional antenna you can see it's it's quite large uh, this is the 13 decibel version, which is the bigger of the two for the uh, 5 gigahertz. Now, we have protective caps on this as well. We're going to take those off. And then uh, the rocket is going to slip right on the sled here. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at the RF cables. These RF cables come with the antenna, the omnidirectional antenna. So we're going to screw those on. And then we'll screw the other one on here too. You can see that there's uh, protective gloves uh, that protect it from the weather. So normally we take a wrench and tighten those up. They don't need to be torqued on because we don't want to damage the equipment, but it does need to have a, uh, a nice snug uh, connector there. Now, uh, from there, we take the antenna and we take the uh, rockets, uh, the, well, the Omni antenna, and we simply Put, place it on here, press down, and then it slides into place. So now it's clipped into place, it's not moving, and now this is when we can put the other uh, jacks on like this, and simply screw them on, both of them like that, and then uh, we're going to put the gloves on. So again, these things need to be tightened with a, a, with a wrench to make sure they've got a good strong connection over time, and then we simply put the gloves on. Now, once that's done, you can see that there are mounting holes right here, two on each side. The, uh, the antenna comes with uh, this as well. This is a, a, um, a clamp, and what we do is we are going to clamp them together here. There's also some bolts that come with the Omni antenna. So up on the mast or whatever uh, you have it, uh, I mean, we can't have a massive pull here, but uh, you simply clamp this down on top 
of uh, of the mass or the tower that you're using and then from there of course there's a cable that comes down after we have the cable uh, firmly in place uh, then we put in the uh, the cover and that remains up there now one of the things I'll mention about that this is this uh, antenna has a seven degree um, if you have a look in the in the quick user guide here that comes with the antenna uh, this has a uh, seven degree elevation beam width. So what that means is you want to have this antenna more or less on par with whatever whatever other antennas uh, you would connect to it. Normally we we use a nano beam with this. So you don't want to mount this antenna way up into the sky and have the nano beams at uh, at uh, roof height because what will happen is we'll have an antenna the nano beam up here pointing towards this antenna which has a 360 degree coverage and if it's pointing up you're outside of the seven degrees so as much as possible we want to put this uh, as far down as possible so that uh, the nano beams pointing at it and our seven degree um, uh, elevation is not exceeded it'll still connect here you're just not going to have the uh, as good a signal as what it's designed for I'm Dar there's a uh, a form up here uh, where you can put in your questions if you don't see it up here it's down at the bottom of the page uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon mm -hmm.